Hi, welcome to Lulu with the Lamp and my third video on the series about interpreting ABGs or arterial blood gases. Um, if you went through the first two videos and you're still a little bit confused but you think you got the hang of it, this video is going to be great for helping just to solidify what we went over in the first two videos. So I would suggest uh, going over these few examples and then if you're still struggling, maybe going back and watching the videos over again or switching over to my full length videos on acid base balance. Please like and subscribe so I can give you more content like this. All right, so let's take a look at this first one here. We're going to look at it again. We're just going to label them. We're not going to think too hard of trying to put it together. We're just going to label those three things and then we can match them up later. So first of all, let's look at our pH level. It is 7.0. What is the norm? The norm is 7.35 to 0.45. So it is low. When it is low, that represents acidosis. So I'm going to write down, I usually just write acid or base. You can write acidosis, alkalosis, whatever you want, whatever works for you. And we're going to look at the next number. And I just want to highlight this really quickly because I can't tell you how many of my students have gotten these questions wrong because they didn't read the question or the answer or the options clearly. This says PaO2. This is not the value we want to look at. At this level and for these kinds of questions, you do not need to worry about the PaO2 level. Just cross it out. We are looking for carbon dioxide. This is the level we want. Make sure you're looking at the right numbers. Um, again, these are giveaway questions, but only if you take the time to read them and do them properly. So let's take a look at this. Your PCO2 is 23. That is abnormal. Now again, CO2 is acidic. So if it is low, that means the blood has become more basic. We look at the carbon, uh, sorry, at the bicarb. Bicarb is 12, normal is 22 to 40, so it is low as well. Bicarb makes our blood basic, so if it gets lower, our blood is going to be acidic. Now we've got these three things written down. We're going to take a look and we're going to we're going to compare. And so the first thing we do is we look back at the pH and we decide, okay, this is representing what the blood it, as a whole, what what. Um, what is the blood as a whole? And so we know that the answer to this question is going to end in acidosis, correct? And so we're going to look over here. We're going to decide which one of these match. And again, the CO2, CO2 turns into carbonic acid, which is uh, um, acidic. CO2 represents our respiratory system. Just think we breathe in and out, we breathe out CO2. So it's representing respiratory system. The bicarb is representing our metabolic system. Again, it's controlled by the kidneys. Which one matches? This one. And so we know that it is metabolic acidosis. <clears throat> We're going to cross that one out. So we've used we've used bicarb and we've used this in our answer. So we cross those out. And now we look at the, the value that is left over to determine whether or not the body has compensated. So right now, our body has a very acidic, our blood is very, very acidic caused by something is going on with our metabolism, right? And it has become acidic as well. Has the body compensated? Our CO2 level is 23, norm is 35 to 45, right? So if it is lower than 35, it is basic. And so the body has actually started to, to um, try to blow off some of that CO2 to decrease the um, amount of acidity in the blood. It has tried to compensate. So it's either compensated or partially compensated. How do we know? We look back at the pH level. We take a look at it. Is it anywhere near normal? No, it's not. It's way, way, way too low. So even though it's way too low, because the body has started to compensate, we have have to call that partially compensated. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. We have a pH of 7.6. Is that uh, basic or acidic? It is basic, right? It's high, 7.6. Uh, we have a PaO2 we don't care about. We're going to look at the PaCO2 of 31. Is that high or is it low? It's low because, so now because uh, CO2 causes acidity. If it's low, it's going to be basic. Um, and, and then we're going to look at the bicarb. The bicarb is 25, which is actually normal. A little bit high, but like a high end of normal. So that's normal. So again, we're going to take a look at this. 
We know that overall the blood is basic. So the answer to this question is going to be alkalosis, something alkalosis. We take a look at the uh, bicarb and the carbon dioxide. We find the one that matches. Which one says basic? Well, it's carbon dioxide. And again, we know that this carbon dioxide level represents the respiratory system. So it's respiratory alkalosis. Now let's decide if it's compensated or not. This one's super easy because the bicarb is normal, meaning the body has not changed its level of bicarb to try to balance out the alkalosis, um, which... And, I mean, in my other videos, we go into detail as to how or whether that can even happen or how it happens. But for now, we're just trying to interpret these real quick, right? And so we know that this one is uncompensated. I'm going to do one more and then um, I will, uh, if you'd like to, you can email me at lauren at lulu with the lamp and I can send you the rest of these slides and you can practice along on your own. But you can always Google. Um, there are great websites, um, nursing.com. There's tons that where you can just get tons of examples of these and work them out on your own. Again, these are freebie questions, guys. You do not want to give up these answers. Let's do one more. Um, we have a 7.5. Again, this is going to be basic. I'm going to do this one real fast like I would do it if, if no one else was around. Cross this off. Your PCO2 is normal. Your bicarb is high, meaning that it is basic as well. So this means we are alkalosis. It matches with your bicarb, so it's metabolic. And this is normal, so we are on compensated. I want to just flip to the next slide because I do think I have one here that this top one here. I want to do this one really quickly. So let's take a look at this. We have a pH of 7.39. If we look over at our normal pH, our normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. When you get a question like this and you're like, the pH is normal. How do I do this? Oh my gosh, how do I do this? And you start, don't panic, okay? <laughs> never panic in nursing exams and never panic it in nursing practice. Take a deep breath. Take a look at this. All I want you to do is I want you to look at this and yes, it is normal, but I want you to ask yourself, which side of normal is it on? Is it more alkaline or is it more um, acidic? And in this case, what I, what you, all you do is you just, in the middle of this, is 7.4. So anything below 7.4 would be acidic. Anything above is basic. So in this case, it is normal, but it's an acidic normal, okay? And then we're going to go on and we're going to do the rest of this question. So your PCO2 is low, so that's basic. Uh, your bicarb is low, so that is acidic, right? So we know that, yes, it's normal, but because of the nature of the questions that we're answering, we know at some point it wasn't normal, right? And especially because these numbers are off. These numbers are not normal. So something is off. And when you see this in real life, it's a different story. This is just for exam questions, right? Something is off here. Real life too, something is off here. So we know that it's normal, but it was acidosis. Which one matches? It would be your bicarb. So it was a metabolic acidosis. And then this is how we know. So we've used this. We've used this. This is still off. It's still um, low, and so it is basic. And what that's telling you is that the body has tried to compensate. And again, remember I said go back and look at the pH. Well, in this case, your pH actually has gone back to normal. This is a case of fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Um, and that's why I wanted to, to just kind of flip through and show you that one um, because you don't ever want to just look at numbers, especially in real life, in isolation. You need to look at the whole picture. If you just look at this, you go, oh, we're fine and off we go. The body is only going to be able to compensate for that metabolic acidosis for so long and then your organs are going to start shutting down. Um, this I've seen this happen in uh, diabetic ketoacidosis where somebody is in acidosis and and you know if you only look at this I mean <laughs> if you've ever seen a patient in metabolic or uh, diabetic ketoacidosis you you would see it right away very often anyway it is very very obvious if they come in with numbers like this that something is going on just by looking at the patient um, but the point is we never want to look at something and accept it bang on 
anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you're able to um, understand uh, this a little bit better. I do have a full video that's going through the rest of these slides that really breaks this down and explains what's happening in the body. But if you just want a quick and easy way of finding these answers because you have an exam tomorrow or in an hour, um, I can promise you that if you understand what I just explained, you will not have a problem answering these questions. Okay, thanks so much for uh, listening. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.